Free Test Guide for BRCA Mutation What is Hereditary Breast Cancer? Hello, this video was designed to explain the genetic testing, counseling, and screening procedures, involved in the treatment of hereditary breast cancer. We hope it will help you understand the available options, and give you the information you need to make a decision, that is right for you. Causes of Breast Cancer According to the statistics, 1 in 8, American women. 1 in 14, Chinese women. 1 in 15, Indian women. And 1 in 24, Malay women, may get breast cancer in their lifetimes. The number of women diagnosed, is expected to rise in the years to come. But luckily, breast cancer is one of the most thoroughly, researched cancers. The main causes have been divided into environmental factors and genetic factors. Other major risk factors include female hormones, age, radiation exposure, and lifestyle. Genes and DNA Genes, are your body's way of passing inherited characteristics, from parent to child. There are genes for many traits, such as face shape, skin tone, and eye color. The human body is composed of billions of tiny cells. The nucleus of each cell contains DNA, which is composed of four bases, adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine, which occur in pairs. Just as a computer stores and processes complex information, by combining the two numbers, 0 and 1, the human body stores genetic information, by combining the four DNA bases. Human cells make proteins, using the genetic information stored, in the DNA sequences. These proteins, are used to form cells, cells form tissues, tissues form organs, and organs form the human body. DNA and the cell, bands together, to form 23 pairs of chromosomes, to give a total of 46 single chromosomes. Children inherit genetic information, by receiving 23 single chromosomes from their mother, and 23 single chromosomes from their father. Genetic Mutation, and Cancer Genetic mutations occur, when a sequence containing genetic information is deleted, or incorrect. Sometimes, this involves only a single base. Genetic mutations arise in a variety of ways, such as radiation, carcinogens, or cancer-causing viruses. When genetic mutation occurs, the processes, necessary to produce proteins cannot occur properly. This may cause serious problems. There are two types of genes, associated with cancer. Oncogenes, and tumor suppressor genes. Oncogenes, or tumor-producing genes, have the ability to cause cancer whereas tumor suppressor genes have the ability to slow, or even stop the development of cancer. If there is no abnormality in the genes received from the parents, mutation of both members of a gene pair, is required to cause a cancer. However, if a person is born with a genetic mutation inherited from either their mother or their father, only one additional mutation is required to cause cancer. Thus, Inheriting just one mutated gene copy, puts you, at a high risk of cancer development, and lowers the age, at which cancer develops. Breast Cancer Gene Cancer is caused by one, or several genetic mutations. There are several genes, known to be associated with, breast cancer. The two most important of these genes are the BRCA1 gene located on chromosome 17, and the BRCA2 gene, located on chromosome 13. BRCA genes, whose name comes from the BR, of breast, and CA, of cancer, are a type of tumor suppressor gene. They are especially important in the development of breast and ovarian cancers. The BRCA1 gene was the first breast cancer gene to be discovered, and is composed of approximately 5,600 base pairs. 
mutations in the BRCA1 gene, are known to increase the risk of colon cancer and prostate cancer, as well as breast and ovarian cancers. The BRCA2 gene on the other hand, is comprised of more than 10,000 base pairs, and is almost double the size of the BRCA1 gene. Mutations in the BRCA2 gene, are known to increase the risk of colorectal cancer, pancreatic cancer, gallbladder cancer, bile duct cancer, gastric cancer, malignant, melanoma of skin, and prostate cancer, in addition to breast and ovarian cancers. Hereditary Breast Cancer, and Non-Hereditary Breast Cancer BRCA gene mutations, can be inherited, from both parents. Because a person receives a pair of genes one from each parent, the probability of a child inheriting the mutant gene is exactly 50%, regardless of the child's gender. Unfortunately, this means that mutated BRCA genes, can be passed from mother to daughter or son, as well as from father to daughter or son. Because of this, it is important to check the history of breast and ovarian cancers, in relatives of both the mother's and the father's side. Let's compare a family tree of a hereditary breast cancer, with a non-hereditary breast cancer. This family tree, is an example of hereditary breast cancer. The patient is diagnosed with breast cancer, at the age of 45, and after 10 years, at the age of 55, she is additionally, diagnosed with ovarian cancer. There is a 50% chance, that she will pass the mutant gene, on to her offspring. Recall that, you require mutations in both genes to develop cancer. Although, there may not be any breast or ovarian cancers apparent in the first generation. Cancer may still appear in the second generation, if their normal gene copy gets mutated. In this way, hereditary cancer spreads in a dominant inheritance pattern. Here are some key features of hereditary cancers. Lower age at which cancer develops. More than two types of cancer may occur at the same time. Bilateral and multifocal cancers may develop. Relatively frequent occurrences of rare cancers. This family tree, is an example of a non-hereditary breast cancer. You can see that breast cancer also occurs in this family. But it occurs regardless of maternal or paternal genetics. In non-hereditary breast cancer, cancer development age is typically higher than 60, and there are no ovarian cancer patients. Since this type of non-hereditary breast cancer occurs sporadically, in the pedigree without showing any specific inheritance patterns, it is also known as sporadic cancer. Familial cancer is a commonly used term, which is often confused with hereditary cancer. It is used to refer to any cancer within a family, which occurs at a higher rate than in an average family but which does not show any of the typical inheritance patterns of hereditary cancer. Familial cancer development is affected not only by genetic predisposition, but also by the similar environment and lifestyle, shared by the family members. Because of this, cancer inheritance does not have a typical pattern, and the age of cancer onset tends to vary. According to recent studies, only 5 to 10 percent of all breast cancer, occurs due to genetic causes, and approximately 15 percent is due to familial breast cancer. The remaining 80 percent is estimated to be due to non-hereditary sporadic breast cancer. Breast Cancer Genetic Counseling, and Genetic Testing According to a study of the Malaysian population, 25 percent of familial breast cancer patients, 11.3% of breast cancer which occurred in women less than 35 years old, 25% of bilateral breast cancer, and 8.3% of male breast cancer, are predicted to have BRCA gene mutations. Some groups, that are at a high risk, for BRCA mutation are Breast cancer patients with a family history of breast or ovarian cancer 
breast cancer which has developed before the age of 35. Patients who have both breast cancer and ovarian cancer. Bilateral breast cancer patients. Male breast cancer patients. People who belong to more than one of the above groups, are at a high risk of BRCA mutations, and genetic testing is recommended. When a patient decides to undergo genetic testing, the first thing that happens is that we make a family tree. Then, the patient usually goes for pre-test counseling and signs an informed consent form. Finally, the patient must complete a survey and have a blood sample taken. When the test results come back, the patient will undergo post-test counseling, and counseling for family members will be available if necessary. Genetic Counseling For accurate counseling, we require the familial cancer history of at least three generations. You may be asked to talk about details of your familial cancer history, including breast, ovary and other cancers. And any family members, who was diagnosed with breast cancer before the age of 50. We encourage you, to share as much information about your family health as possible, especially family members, who have died, at a young age, and information about other diseases. Genetic Testing In order to perform the genetic test for BRCA1 and 2, a blood sample of about 20 milliliters is needed. Do not worry. Taking this sample will not be harmful to your health. In the lab, DNA will be extracted from the white blood cells, which come from the blood sample. And then professionals will decode the DNA sequence. Because the BRCA1 gene is composed of approximately 5,600 base pairs, and the BRCA2 gene is about 10,000 base pairs, it will take two or three months to analyze all the results. Unfortunately, there is no way of testing for genetic mutation that is 100% accurate. Currently, BRCA genetic testing is about 85 to 90% accurate. The blood that was not used in the test can be used in future studies. The cost for the BRCA genetic testing ranges about from 1000 to 3000 US dollars. But the exact cost will vary case by case. We recommend you talk about it with your medical staff. Thank you for watching this free testing guide. We hope you found it informative.